I'm Amanda Pattison, product specialist for industrial control sensor and safety products at Ornery Electric Supply. Today I wanted to go over how to configure the CR30 configurable safety relay within the add-on profile in Studio 5000. I have a program already set up. Uh, first thing is you want to right click on the ethernet because we have to add the CR30 into the IO tree. Right click on the ethernet and select new module. When this, the text box comes up, go ahead and type in CR30, and that will bring up the 440C CR30 add-on profile that you can add into the I.O. tree, and then click on Create. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. I'm just going to name it CR30. And then I do have a private network address set up, so it's going to be 192.168.1.25. You'll notice in this add-on profile, there is this change button down here on the module definition screen. I'm gonna go ahead and click change right away to set this part up. When I click change, this is where you can select your revision, electronic keying, or your connection. Um, I'm gonna keep my revision on revision 10 because that's where my CR30 and my demo is set at. Um, but the add-on profile does work for revisions eight, nine, or 10. So I'm just gonna leave it at revision 10. Electronic keying, I'm going to keep it at compatible module. This is where you can put exact match compatible module or disable keying. We'll keep it at compatible module. It doesn't care about the small revision number, only the large revision. And then our connection point, we're going to keep at data because we want to actually communicate and work with the CR30 instead of just listening. Under the plugins, you're going to open up this plus sign. Notice how we already have the 440C Ethernet in here, and that's because using the Studio 5000 AOP, you um, can only, or you can only do it when you use the Ethernet module. Um, to match my dem demo, I'm going to add another digital I/O module to this. So I'm going to right-click on here, digital I/O, and I'm going to add this 2080-IQ4OB4 module, and that's to match my demo right here. Go ahead and click OK because the module definition is complete. Next, we're going to go to the connection tab, kind of explore a little bit more about this add on profile. Click on the connection tab, and you'll notice the requested packet interval or RPI. It does default to 240 milliseconds, but you can change it anywhere from 60 to 2400 milliseconds, depending on how quickly you need to get the data. Next tab is going to be the logic configuration tab that we're going to go over. Um, if you notice underneath the safety relay button, if you highlight on LED configuration, this is where you actually configure the LEDs that are on the CR30. It's these 0 through 9 and your output LEDs are 0 through 5. This product is really the only product in the Rockwell family where the LEDs do not correspond to the actual input points of the CR30 itself. They are configurable. So if you notice right here, they are defaulted at not used. So you can open this up and then you can get just terminal status, which would be basic terminal status of the actual point I or the input points on the unit or the output points on the unit. And then you can also monitor safety monitoring functions, which is part of your logic when you program the device. Or you can monitor the safety output function status. So I'm going to go ahead and click on terminal status quickly just to show you it defaults at terminal 00, but you can monitor any of the terminals 00 through terminal 21. Since there is 22 onboard local I.O. for this device, you can monitor any terminal that you would like. All right, I'll change that back to not used. The next selection is the fault selection, and when you click on faults, it will display your recent faults right here in the device. And that's basic configuration of how you would configure a CR30 in Studio 5000. If you'd like to learn more information, please contact your local Werner Electric Supply representative.